Hello there. I just wanted to come on and share with you my salad. As I was making it, I was like, I've got to share this with you and tell you all the great things that are in this salad. And I am short on time. As you can tell by the way I looked at a busy morning, I taught four classes, um, a couple of clients and just busy, busy, but got to eat, got my nutrition down, took some time to make a salad, but let me tell you what's in here. So it might look not very colorful, but there are layers to it. Okay, the only thing that I'm gonna add to this and I just have to, to make it would be brown, white, brown rice or quinoa. So I'll talk about those in a second. But at the bottom of this, I have carrots. Now carrots, I'm gonna have to look at my little cheat sheet. Great source, source of not only fiber, and it's a great root vegetable. Vitamin A, beta carotene, calcium, vitamin K, good for lowering and regulating your blood sugar. So I put some carrots in there. I always put carrots in there. You can really kind of see them peeking out there. I have mushrooms, sliced up some mushrooms, they're also anti-inflammatory and great for, uh, it's also an antioxidant. Again, another great, great easy vegetable and it's tasty too. I also have hemp seeds in here. I'm always a big fan of the shelled hemp seeds to add some protein to each and every meal. So you should be having protein with every meal, at least you know breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, you can sprinkle it on yogurt. I put it in every salad I make and every yogurt I have because it adds so much protein to, you know, people who struggle with, I don't eat enough protein. It can get that protein in there at each meal. You can even put it in a shake or something like that. Um, but I always sprinkle a little bit on the salad. Also a good source of fiber. And it just makes you feel fuller and it has a really nutty flavor. So the shelled hemp seeds are great. I get them at Trader Joe's. Um, also I have blueberries in here. I mean, don't get me started on blueberries. They're just excellent for like everything. Um, your skin, your hair, your nails, your bladder, your heart. Um, but they are loaded with um, iron, calcium, magnesium, better sleep, zinc, vitamin K, vitamin C. So good for healthy heart, healthy bones. Really just can't say enough. And they're sweet and they're, um, they just, they just really help with like inflammation in the body and they definitely help you keep, they keep you fuller longer. So, because they ha have the fiber in there. So definitely love the blueberries. I also have, what else do I have in here? Arugula and romaine lettuce. So I say anything, you know, that you have, if, even if you like iceberg lettuce, I know I love the taste of it. Um, it has a high water content, so it might not be as nutrient dense as like your arugula or your spinach, but it's still, it's like 97% water. So it's great to get your, you know, like watermelon is, like you just get a lot of water in that. So that's a great benefit. Plus it's not candy or sugar. So, you know, that's a, that's a good thing. Um, I also have sprinkled a little bit of cashews for a little bit of crunch. So I'm a big almond person, but almond is usually like my go-to protein and crunch in like yogurt or something. I just needed to mix it up a little bit. So I just got some cashews. Nuts are also a healthy fat. They're gonna keep you fuller longer. Almonds probably have more fiber than cashews, but they're tasty and they're not as um, bad for you as some other nuts. Um, what else do I have in here? I'm looking at my list because there's so many things in here. Um, oh, also cashews, another thing, they do have magnesium and zinc. Also, there have been a lot of studies that, you know, a diet rich in magnesium helps you sleep better. Um, magnesium is a hard vitamin to test for because it's, um, it's not really in your blood, it's more like in your bones and um, organs, so it, you can't really do a blood test. So just eat things, I think, with a lot of magnesium, like I eat enough almonds, they also have magnesium, that can kind of up that magnesium level as well. What else do I have in here? Um, chia seeds, great form of omega-3s and fiber, you can't really see them, again, they're layered. And then I have a half of an avocado on top with a little pepper crackled on top, Half an avocado, that's gonna be, I can't, I mean, can't say enough about avocados. Healthy fat, keeps you fuller longer, loaded with fiber, um, 
Again, it checks those boxes. And olive oil, I just sprinkled a little bit of olive oil. Um, I always have olive oil in my salad. That's just my go-to. I don't really like the taste of dressing. Sometimes I'll put a vinegar and olive oil or I'll put a little lemon in there, but can't say enough, olive oil clicks that, checks that box for the healthy, healthy fat. Um, it also is good to cook with and it doesn't, you know, it's probably the healthiest oil out there. So there's my salad. I can't wait to eat it. And I was waiting. I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait and I'm going to film this. Um, so again, the only thing I'm, I'm going to be adding to this and doesn't that look good? But all the color is on the bottom basically. Um, and I may even have some apples in there. I don't even know. So it might be a little red under there too. So again, eat that rainbow. Um, the only thing I would add to it, like I said, is I'm going to add some quinoa because that's, it's one of those like things, foods that doubles, it's a protein, but it's also a carb. So it's going to fill you up um, and protein in every meal will keep you fuller longer. So you're less likely to snack. Um, it just sustains you a little bit. I know when I have a Greek yogurt, I, I'm full for hours after. I load it with, you know, some fruit, some apples, some blueberries, a handful of nuts, and there, there's your little sweet and savory. Um, and then the only other thing I would, would add to this, if I wasn't doing the quinoa, would be brown rice. If you want, like, if you want a salad, like, I want to, I want to get some heartiness in there. Some brown rice would be good or brown pasta. I don't like pasta in my salads, but brown rice I would put in there or quinoa. So um, that kind of is your whole plate there. So half your plate should be fruits um, and vegetables. Well, you don't have to put fruit in dinner, but you know what I'm saying. Fill it with vegetables, green vegetables, your root vegetables, um, a quarter of your plate, a little bit of protein. And then, um, you know, you're gonna have your carbs, you know, something to fill you up, maybe, um, uh, sweet potato, maybe brown rice, quinoa, whole wheat pasta, things like that. That is a, a complete plate and then like a little bit of a healthy fat, you know, your olive oil or if you're having breakfast, you know, you could put a little peanut butter or almond butter. That could be your healthy fat. Um, the ideas are endless, um, but you want to make sure you keep that balance throughout the day to keep you functioning. You know, we all have that fog when we're hungry, when we don't feel we had enough water, make sure you're drinking your water. Um, and there's your, like your perfect plate. So if you could keep it to three, three really good healthy meals, um, and then, you know, if you need a snack here and there, fine, but you don't want to be that professional snacker. We have become like a, a culture of professional snacking, partly due to the pandemic. I think we were all home and just like maybe just picking and picking and then you go to your meal and you're like, well, I'm not really hungry, but I'm going to have it, you know, and, or if you come in, you know, from work and you're cooking dinner or running the kids around, you know, I fell into that. I was starving, really hungry, went shopping at Trader Joe's and I wanted to eat everything when I got home because I got all this great food. So I just kind of picked, okay, I'm going to have this while I cook dinner. And then that was it. I took a handful of, I think it was um, whole grain chips or something and a little bit of um, hummus or something. And that was my, that was my snack because I was really hungry. <laughs> so you got to listen to your body. Um, but that can kind of set you up for success. Then you're, you're still ready for that meal, but you're not just snacking all day. And it also sends your blood sugar up and down and up and down when it's working so hard and your body's digesting a lot of times a day. A couple of snacks are fine. I'm not saying you can't snack, but you want to make sure that you're getting in those, those meals, two to three meals. Even if you're not a breakfast eater, maybe a protein shake. Um, and you're getting in those three solids so that you're fuller longer. And if you have that protein, you will not be so inclined to snack snack. So hope that helps. I'm going to just cook up my quinoa and add it to my salad. Have a great day and I will see you probably tomorrow. Bye.